The early, early Christmas fair raises money for the ABF Soldiers Charity to help soldiers and veterans across the country. There are stalls that sell candles, clothes and even books about dog names. It may not look very Christmassy, but the fair is quite an old tradition. I mean, this event is called the Early Early Christmas Fair and it's been running for um, well, possibly 28, 30 years now. And it started in a married quarter, then went to Tedworth House, and then when Tedworth House became the rehabilitation centre for Help for Heroes, we obviously couldn't do the event in there, so we then dropped it into Marquis on the polo ground. The charity, which used to be called the Army Benevolent Fund, have raised a significant amount of money from this event alone. The name of it may make people shake their heads as it is still three months until the festive season, but there is a reason behind the name. This name was made up, I think, by, by a couple of people about 28 years ago, and um, it used to be in the end of October, and it slipped to the last, two, last Tuesday and Wednesday of September. We can't change the name, it's just set in concrete. Wiltshire has many bases and camps for people serving in the military. And for that reason, Caroline says that Tidworth is the perfect place to hold this event. Well, I think it's in the heart of the soldiers' land, if you like, Salisbury, the, the Salisbury Plain. We've got Basing uh, 2020 coming, where we've got all the military coming back from Germany. So it's the hu biggest county for our servicemen and women. Um, and to have an event like this with the soldiers' charity, which is the charity for the military, in the heart of Wiltshire is key. The event attracts lots of people from across the region who want to browse lots of different items or maybe just get themselves in the Christmas spirit. Among the stall holders and visitors were a few famous faces. Actor Hugh Bonneville is a regular visitor to the fair and next to him fellow actor Richard E. Grant was selling his newest creation. I created a perfume brand called Jack uh, four years ago that's unisex and uh, launched it at Liberty in London and then online and uh, somebody, because I exhibited the Spirit of Christmas Fair in Olympia in November, um, the organiser, Caroline from here, who's raised a million over the last 10 years for this charity, Soldiers Charity, um, asked if I'd come and do the fair today, so that's why I'm here. The stall holders come from all over the place to showcase their items and products that can be for you or even for those prepared people, Christmas presents for friends and family. Caroline says there's a great atmosphere between visitors and sellers is what makes this event so great. It's incredible we, I and mean, we're so lucky to have such incredible storeholders, people who come from all over the place and uh, this is their trade and they go around different fairs and, and they, they run some very successful businesses and the punters coming are just great. Preparations will soon be underway for 2019's event which they hope will be bigger and better than this year's. Jack Deary, That's TV.